Hi everybody, this is Bananas Fluent, and today we are going to be kind of um, doing something that we have done and something that we have not done. So it's going to be like a random talk show that I did with my friend Danny, but this time it's going to be a rig. <coughs> Don't want them home. Okay, so today my uh, person with me is going to be, uh, what is it? My name's Darlene Limkit, and where are you from? I am from Texarkana. So, um, um, just if you guys can um, see this thing, this is actually just, um, this is just like a part of a headphone that we use for a microphone, so just don't mind it. It's fantastic, by the way. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. So, we're going to be, if we have time, doing two things, and what are those two things? Uh, one is, you've asked me to talk about some of my favorite holiday traditions, mm -hmm. which I love talking about because I love the holidays. And then maybe if we have time, I might give you some tips and tricks on buying for the loved ones in mm -hmm. your family. Yeah, okay. So, cool. To get started for, for a basic question for the... Um, traditions. Um, yeah, yes. I'm thinking for the traditions. Mm -hmm. So, what is your favorite um, tradition? So, my favorite tradition is, you know, some people tend to leave snacks and goodies for Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't like to do that because I feel like if Santa has lots of snacks along mm -hmm. the way, he's going to be really full yeah. and it's going to mm -hmm. kind of slow him down. So my favorite tradition is actually just to set out to him a couple of like Tums. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like by the time you've gone to so many different houses, that poor little tummy of his, well, it's kind of a big tummy. It's adorable tummy. It's like a bowl full of jelly. But I think he's probably going to have a bit of a tum tum mm -hmm. egg. So one mm -hmm. of my traditions is definitely taking out the tums and like the good flavor of tums, not those peppermint menthol-y ones, but the ones that are like tropical yeah. fruits, you know, mm -hmm. pineapple things like okay, that. Okay, so I think that's um, kind um, of fun. Thank, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so my my favorite holiday tradition is uh, hmm, Definitely are always decorating the house because that's always really fun. Fun. Love and, doing that with uh, gentle floss, by the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> like, you know, just kind of doing, like, um, everything that you do on Christmas because I love Christmas and stuff. Me too. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay, Dental so floss, by the way, no joke, really, because if you're, like, out of tinsel, you can use dental floss. And you use the peppermint kind. Are you supposed to be eating that microphone? Because I feel like if I'm supposed to be talking it and mm -hmm. you're eating it, it's going to be a problem. So sometimes if you use like the peppermint one, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's a little... Do you have any other microphone or what's going on? Use the peppermint one and then your house smells like minty clean. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like Christmassy sort of oh, pepperminty. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea, actually. Okay, so our next question is yeah. going to be, what, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I do not. Let me tell you what I don't like. This up my nose. Put it down just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. What I don't. I well, what I do. Here's. Let me tell you what I don't like. Also, mm -hmm. too. Not a big fan of the eggnog. Because what it tastes like, I know some people like it, but I what I don't like about it is it tastes Me a little Jeremiah bit. Do. Well, I know. Well, Jeremiah and I go way back, and we used mm -hmm. to have some eggnog nights. Let me tell you, but it tastes mm -hmm. like egg beaters to me. It does. And although egg beaters are only zero points on that little Weight Watcher program I'm doing, it's still just not very good. So that's in the don't like category. What I do like are Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. I love Christmas movies like Die Hard or Lethal Weapon um, or what else is there? The Fast and the Furious. I feel like that's a really good festive um, kind of Christmas movie because if you listen carefully, you can hear some jingle bells in the background. <laughs> So, um, I think those would be good, and those also would be good gifts for people under the tree, mm -hmm. you know, fast and furious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my favorite thing about Christmas is, I like, too hard to choose. I know, it is too hard to choose. Too hard to choose. Really? No, I actually can't choose. I, I, I like everything about Christmas. Okay, so, 
so our next question. Mm. Would you like to say anything? While I think of a note. Well, I um, I also like carrots. I think you can see that. Was that not part of the question? Sorry, I know that's rude for all of our listeners and <laughs> watchers and all that kind of stuff. But you know, Christmas is also a See, really you know. good remind. I don't know if I can hold it with carrots in my hand. Christmas is also really a good reminder that you have to do a lot of exercising because if you don't do a lot of exercising on them Christmas treats. Go right to your tushy. Okay. <laughs> so our next question is going to be: mm -hmm. What do you, what do you, what do you think for suggestions for other people that need help with Christmas? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. any, any like suggestions for anybody that? You well, I would say that a really good inexpensive um, gift that you can give people. Is next time you go to the grocery store and they ask you if you want uh, bags, if you want to buy bags, mm -hmm. you say yes because they're only 10 cents and you can give those away as gifts. Mm -hmm. They can be like, Merry Christmas, here's your gym bag. Mm -hmm. And you know, someone might say like, that's a little weird from a gym bag to say Safeway on it. And you say, no, 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 that's okay. It's like the safe way to work out. See what I'm saying? And it's only ten cents. So that's a that's a good little good little trick. The other thing is that when you go out to dinner from now until Christmas, you always want to take leftovers home, and then you can freeze them. And then when it comes time to have to host Christmas dinner, you take out all the leftovers and you reheat them. Mm -hmm. So for Christmas dinner, you might have like pasta from Spaghetti Factory. You might have a little side potato action from Outback Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. You might have a little quesadilla burger from Applebee's. And it's just kind of like a like a hodgepodge, mm -hmm. but it's a way to save money. Because okay. Christmas can be awfully expensive. Mm -hmm. Ooh! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> well, that was fun. That reminded me of riding the tractors there out on the farm. Every now and again, the tractor just goes cray cray on you. Okay. Do you have anything else to ask me? Yes. So. Okay. Do you like Christmas? Do I like Christmas? Yes. No, I do not. I love it. Oh, okay. Let's be perfectly honest. I like Christmas. I like Hanukkah. I like Kwanzaa. I like Three Kings. And I like Feliz Navidad. And any other formation of the Christmas holiday. Because it's all just about being with my family. Mm -hmm. That's good. To be perfectly honest. It ain't about the leftovers from Applebee. It ain't about the 10 cents I'm going to spend for all those tote bags I'm going to give away for Christmas. But it is really about my family. I have 17 brothers and 26 sisters. So it gets a little crazy around the holidays. But I just love being around all of them. You can see why I have to give away garbage bags for Christmas. I mean, heaven forbid. How am I going to... There we go again. There we go again. That was like a little deja vu. It's like that just happened. Okay. Thank you. Um, hmm. I don't know what to ask you. Just talk about Christmas. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I have anything else to say about Christmas right now. Okay, then do you want to move to gifts? Sure, yeah, gifts. Well, I think okay. I already kind of gave a good idea on the Christmas mm. gifts from a garbage bag standpoint. So, can I see? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of transition people. So... Thank you for your time and in interviewing. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. So next we're going to bring in another person uh, for the gifts and stuff. And here... Okay, that's going to be a minute. But anyways... Oh, here she is. Hello, darling. Okay, okay. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Anastasia. Okay, good. Yes. And where are you from? I'm from London. 
Okay, thank you. So today we are going to be doing uh, an interview with Anastasia, and it's going to be on I Christmas idea gifts for everyone, and specifically what do you think and to help people at home. So first of all, what is one of your favorite Christmas gift ideas for like any any anybody really? Well, I like, what I like to give, oh, thank you, thank you. What I like to give the most is really um, the gift of a hug. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're going to give something, you should give something that people can really use and really want to give and receive. And I think a hug is, it really falls in that category because, you know, you can give your last guest who said something about garbage bags. I mean, that's fine, but I do put garbage in my garbage bag. Mm -hmm. So what I'd really like really is a hug. Mm -hmm. So I know you didn't ask me what I would like to get for Christmas, but really what I would like to get is a hug. So I'd also mm -hmm. like to give a hug back in return. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a surprise. That was surprises. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, so I'm gonna ask you kind of a bunch of different questions, but they're still gonna be about you. Yes. What is the best best gift for a newborn baby boy in your in, in, in your idea? I would say probably an iPad. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, I know that they're you know very very young, mm -hmm. and so it's it's it might sound a little bit strange, but I feel like the best thing you can do is sort of just sit your baby down with an iPad, mm -hmm. and you can put on kind of a crazy sort of shoot 'em up bang bang movie, and then you know the baby will just be so so just amazed oh, 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 okay. by the things that they're seeing that they you know they won't really need much help really unless they're thirsty or got, got a little bit of something in a diaper mm -hmm. but uh, you know and then you can run on in change it and then put on something else on the ipad is that it's is that it's not how you do that in here yeah, no well i mean i like the idea of an ipad to definitely um like start entertaining mm -hmm. a baby is that too Might young want no, no, I like the iPad idea. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. just not a big fan of the type of movie. Oh, suggest. yes, 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 yes. But I do, I, you know, one thing that I, I do have in common with Darlene is I do like the good Christmas movies. And mm -hmm. so, you know, if you put on a little, a little Die Hard or a little lethal weapon for a baby. I mean, what do they know the difference anyway? Yeah, okay, I guess so. So, <laughs> what, is, what is the best gift for... Let's see. A girl that is starting second grade. Hmm. I would probably say a automobile. Um, don't you think it's if you're a little young to have? A well, I, you know what I think. I think that sometimes we just we coddle we coddle our babies a little bit too much, mm -hmm. and we think like, oh no, don't let them drive until they're sixteen. But quite frankly. You know, who has time to be driving children around all the time? Oh, I've got to go to dance class. Oh, I've got to go to baseball. I mean, you know, I don't have time to be driving them everywhere. So I really do think that even though there might be only, let's say, second grade, what is that, what is that, seven? Oh, yes, perfect, seven. Let's teach them to drive and buy them a car. I, I think it's lovely. Seven-year-old girl car, beautiful. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, what, do, what do you think is a good gift, maybe, maybe for, like, um, like cooking mm. for, like, a woman your age? Oh, cooking for a woman my age. I would say a credit card so you can order the food and have it delivered. Let's be honest, who has time for cooking anymore? And, uh, and if you have, I mean, and then you could take your seven-year-old and have her just go pick up some food from the local store. But all keeping aside, I think what you could buy someone like mm. myself, um, if you'd like me to cook, would probably be um, an oven. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's hard to cook without an oven, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I also... Well, what uh, is something like, 
like uh, things like utensils and like oh something cooking. a little smaller maybe yes. maybe like uh, like a pressure cooker or so something something like that yes. not necessarily be that but yes. something like it I think that um, you know what would be great uh, honestly the best utensil you can have in the kitchen with cooking is just a pair of scissors. Because if you've got, like, your chicken is too big, you just have to go in and you cut off an arm, <laughs> right? And you cut off a little drumstick, and then and then it's done, and you cook it, and you know, and then later you can open up a, you can open up a letter with it as well, or you know, if you need a little trim trim on your hair, you can all kind of. It's very multi-purpose. Dollar store. A lot of germs going. Oh, germs, schmerms, who cares? We're all in the same family. I think it's fine. Really, I don't see much of a problem, but good thing he's not on my Christmas list. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. What do you think would be a good gaming gift mm. for a kid, like, going into... For well, not necessarily a kid c becoming an adult, going into um, mm -hmm. going into college. Good gaming. Let's see. I would say probably shoots and ladders. I feel like you know, as you start to get older and you think you're all big and bad, and you know, ready to go up to college, is I think it's a good reminder that we were all children at one point, and shoots and ladders would be or, or Candyland uh, you know I, I don't like Candyland either really I think they both would be lovely <laughs> lovely surprises under the tree okay thank you for that um yes what is a good present for anyone like anyone who likes the outdoors hmm anyone who likes the outdoors well I, I don't really like them much myself so it's a little bit of a tough one for me I would say, if you like the outdoors, I would give you a bar of soap. Because a, a lot of times when you go outside, you know, you start to smell. Really, you, you, come in, you come in all stinky. So if you like the outdoors, I think a good gift would be a bar of soap to sort of say, go enjoy outside, but then wash up before you come in so you don't smell like a farm animal. Okay, so what is what do you think is a good gift for for a guy who has an office job and needs more supplies for the office? Mm -hmm. I would say a garbage can because really you should just throw out all that work, the computer, <laughs> the briefcase, the pens. Oh, you know you so oh I'm so important. I work in an office. Look at me. I need more supplies. I would say you give a garbage can and just say toss it all in into the rubbish. Uh, okay. I need you to take this. Okay. That's amazing. I might have to put that on my Christmas list. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think is a good for a kid about five, four, or three that likes like action figures mm -hmm. and like toy planes and trains and things like that. What, what do you think is a, uh, a, a boy or girl? I would say probably a banana. <laughs> <laughs> why, why a banana? <laughs> well, I, I just think that, you know, sometimes we get so distracted by technology and lights and beeping noises and things <laughs> that, you know, sometimes you just want to kind of unplug and I think the best way to do that is to stop and just nosh on a piece of fruit, really. So you just give them the banana. And at first they're, they're looking, thinking, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, I mean, you know, you could eat it and you could save it and make it into banana nut bread. But I really do think that it's a message that we want to send to the youth. That it's not all about the AA batteries and really about nutrition and bananas. Okay, thank you. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you think is a good Christmas gift for somebody who really likes 
like smart like remote control things like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. race cars, drones, helicopters, like boats, things like that, and like um like and at about an age of let's see, how about eight or seven mm -hmm. and a girl. I would say probably um, bubble wrap, because uh, I think that all those things that you mentioned are just quite dangerous, to be perfectly honest. You're going to have the remote control and it starts running all over the place and then somebody trips on it. You have the airplane coming and zooming at you. And I just think that in order to protect them, uh, you know, I think you need to have bubble wrap and I think you just sort of wrap them all up. Oh, okay. And then, you know, that's kind of even a gift in and of itself because, you know, those bubble wraps, they have those little popping little bubbles and so you can pop it and pop it and, you know, maybe maybe you decide that I'm just not that excited about a remote control car anymore because I have my banana mm -hmm. and, and, my, and my bubble wrap. Okay, thank you. So, the next question is, is that, um, what do you think is a good Christmas gift for, let's see, how about... Somebody who has um, uh, turned 40 and mm -hmm. loves Christmas um, decorations and maybe maybe not exactly Christmas decorations, but could be any other decorations for any other holidays, what do you think? I would say probably, you know, a pair of sunglasses because once you've turned 40, that's a lot of candles on your birthday mm -hmm. cake. Mm -hmm. And so really, you know, so you don't get blinded by decorations by candles mm. by lights and things you know you just need to have a pair of sunglasses and you can really use the sunglasses all the time and you know quite frankly i think when you start to turn 40 your coolness factor really starts to go up so you could even get away with wearing like two pairs of glasses i mean you could probably get away with it as well you know and so then it's like you don't even know who they are either so oh wait a minute is that you, Anastasia? Uh, and then it's like, no, it's just me, Annabella. Oh, right? okay. And also, it's also good because once you you start to realize, you gotta up the fresh. Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, really, if I have any leaving parting words for you, I would say you just have to up the fresh. <laughs> because by upping the fresh, you really up your game, right? And, and it's sort of the, um, I, I just think that that's really what, what we want to leave the viewers with. Okay, yeah. So, so let's talk about, uh, just about a couple more questions. Okay, I do have to run, so. Okay, okay I'm sorry, but. Chip chop. <laughs> so our next question is, what do you think is a good present for um, somebody maybe like, like a little girl mm -hmm. who has just started to learn swimming and mm. she gets really good at it mm -hmm. and you decided to get a pool well you got to get like things for the pool yes like, go in and like to go in it what do you think are some of those good things i think chocolate <laughs> i, I really do well i think chocolate because you know you're going to be <laughs> okay. you're going to be swimming you're exercising you're not drowning you know congratulations you can swim so I really do think that it's it's chocolate mm -hmm. it's, it's just like a reward system really no oh, 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 oh you see that for a reward yeah so so we'll do two more questions okay? mm. so what do you think is a good question for a kid for like a like about um, a nine-year-old uh, who loves sports and loves like sports utilities like um mm -hmm. like bats and gear and cool shirts and that and that kind of stuff yeah and what do you think i would say probably cones like a hair comb mm -hmm. you know because you know all those athletes they always like to look cool and look softy out there mm -hmm. on the field and so they'll have their football and or your american football and soccer and then really it's the you need you need a comb mm -hmm. yeah Okay, um, so here's our last question. What do you think is a good present, present for anybody who, um, <laughs> who, um, who loves to eat? Mm. I would say probably the Weight Watchers app. 
Uh, it, it's lovely. I have it. I count all my points for things and sometimes I just enjoy eating way too much. How about maybe also, oh no, Weight Watchers app is a great idea, but, but it's about the same thing. How about like, um, uh, like, uh, something to weigh yourself? No, don't do it. Why? Don't do it. Because it's depressing. <laughs> what I, what I like to do is do my pants fit, do my buttons button, is my zipper popping open? I mean, if you can't sit down without having an indentation on your body from your clothes, you know, then maybe you need to you need to zip the mouth a little mm -hmm. bit and stop the eating. But quite frankly, I think all scales should be burned, should be sent away off to the off to the produce department where they but then need you to never weigh. know how good you're doing. What yeah, if you're doing great, and you, and it, um, and you don't even know. Well, I think if I'm walking down the street and some man whistles at me, I'm going to say, Woo, I guess I must be doing a good job. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense if you say that. So, thank you very much for your interview. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Nice yeah. to meet you. Oh, and I got my hug. <laughs> Bye, tootles. Okay, thank you everybody for watching our um, epic video. So, bye. Hi everybody, this is me, this is Emma. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> okay, alright, let's try it. So sorry. I know. <laughs> okay, focus. So, what do you think are good, um, uh, maybe gifts for a date? I would say, um, jalapenos, <laughs> back scratches. I think a turkey based stuff. Let's say, let's see. How about now name two of your favorite Christmas foods? <laughs> Christmas foods. Um, I would say I like to go around and steal baby cheeses from the lawn of my neighbors. <laughs> What's another one? One more. more. <laughs> I would say. Wrapping up my dirty laundry. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and also request other things that I can do like this and um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.